Last weekend was the time change, and I had plenty of emails and notices about something that my phone was going to do automatically. I don't mean to poke fun at time change e-cards and postcards, but twice per year I'm reminded of the simple marketing strategies that real estate agents and salespeople alike put forth in an effort to stay in touch. A few videos ago we talked about why branding is way more important than marketing. In this video I want to talk a little bit about the content strategy behind those concepts. Many agents opt for the generic content strategy when it comes to email newsletters, social media, and postcards. And I'm not saying that all generic content is bad, particularly when there are some good and informative topics that are common to an industry. The problem is when the generic content rules your entire strategy. This is when the marketing then starts to overrun your brand because maybe that spring forward postcard doesn't match up with your brand. Two things you want to think about when creating your content strategy. The first we've already talked about. It must relate to your brand. The second, the content must add value. Okay, so what adds value? Well, you can use informative and educational topics related to your industry. If you're a real estate agent, for example, you might want to go with spring cleaning tips, curb appeal ideas, best home renovations, worst home renovations, market statistics, etc. Your content, though, does not specifically have to relate to your industry. You can create content around your neighborhood and the city that you live in. You can create content around your hobbies and the things that you like to do for fun. A person who is a great example of this is Moore Zucker and her blog, The Denver Ear. What started off as a passion for her city turned into a branding powerhouse and thus a good amount of business. Your content can also be fun and maybe even a little edgy. Now, I don't know Chris Lindell, but I heard about his Vikings billboard that he put up in the middle of Philadelphia for the NFC Championship this year. Since then, I've searched around to see some of his other marketing, and it is fun and appears to match very well with his brand. In fact, one of the things that I love that he said in an interview with Inman News about his $20,000 billboard was that it was a complete branding play, and now it's become so much more. Does this mean you need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on ad placements or dedicate yourself to a blog that might turn into some business? No, not necessarily, but what this demonstrates is what value-added content can do. It can make people smile. It can provide people with information. It can provide entertainment to people. And yes, it might even help you stay top of mind. I'm not saying that this stuff is easy by any means. But if you compare what we just talked about to that time change e-card, you begin to see the difference. So let's start simple. In addition to the marketing that you're already doing, say for your listings, try to add a few more content pieces that fall into the following categories. Education, like market statistics or home ownership tips. Information, what's happening around town. Knowledge sharing, post up an article that you like and share your opinion about the topic. Entertainment, something fun to make people smile. I would love to see what you all come up with, so share your ideas and your results in the comments below or post up a link to people who you think are killing it with their marketing. Now, if you excuse me, I think I still need to change the time on my oven.